the, uh, the next award goes to Dr. Bart Capone of the Department of Medicine and the Division of Hospitalist Medicine. Dr. Capone obtained his medical degree at the University of Illinois at Rockford and completed his internal medicine residency at UW Hospitals and Clinics. He joined the hospital medicine uh, staff in July of 2008. He then made his transition. Uh, he started off as a nocturnist. I think everybody in the room knows what, what that is. People roam around at night. Um, but then he became, he, he came to the, into the daylight um, eventually, and, and so we've come to know him. Um, <laughs> his uh, reading from some of the, uh, the quotes about him, uh, perhaps Dr. Capone's greatest attribute is his ability to work with many different types of patients, families, physicians, and interdisciplinary colleagues. He does this in a positive, upbeat way that is both supportive and realistic. He provides clinical coverage for some of the most complex medical patients at UW Health. Patients often comment on how they appreciate Dr. Capone's careful and calm communication style. It's not uncommon for Dr. Capone to explain everything in detail to his patients and then return later in the day to explain the same thing to their families. Patients and families appreciate the time Dr. Capone spends informing them, but also making sure they have the opportunity to ask questions and have them answered. Not surprisingly, in 2014, Dr. Capone was recognized by the Department of Medicine House staff with their Patient Centeredness Award. In addition, in 2014, he was chosen by his peers as one of Madison Magazine's top doctors, not, not bachelor's doctors, um, uh, and was also selected for the current cohort of UWMF Physician Leadership Development Program. Dr. Capone's clinical skills and knowledge are impressive in both depth and breadth. He builds his clinical knowledge with, apparent, with apparently near constant reading. In turn, he builds the clinical knowledge of his colleagues by sharing what he's learned and engaging in thoughtful discussion of how this knowledge should be used in clinical practice. Moreover, he uses this clinical knowledge wisely and makes excellent decisions regarding his patient's care. He takes into account both the patient's best interests and the use of healthcare resources. He spends considerable and thoughtful time with his patients, tailoring his message to each patient and carefully answering questions. Overall, in the Division of Hospital Medicine and indeed UW Health, Dr. Capone sets a high standard for patient care, and many others work a little harder to measure up to the standard he consistently sets. It's with great honor that we present Dr. Bar Capone with an award for clinical excellence. I remember when I got my notification, it was actually by email. I had just finished a run and I was waiting for the garage door to open, so I checked my email and I got one from our program administrator that said, Ron Slomiski needs to talk to you, please call me this number. And I thought, no, oh, this is either very good or very bad. And happily, it was very good. Um, I'm very deeply honored and grateful to receive this award. Um, as far as thanks go, I have to start with my wonderful family. Uh, my kind, forbearing, and supportive wife, Andrea, is in back with our children, Antoinette, Benjamin, and Barrett, who was eight weeks old yesterday. Um, without their love and support, I don't know where I'd be. Um, within the organization, I want to thank uh, Dr. Golden, Dr. Grossman, and Mr. Slowinski for fostering and nurturing the excellence of this organization that I'm so proud to be a part of. Um, in the Department of Medicine, of course, Rick Page sets a great standard for all of us. Uh, I had to thank Ben Vogelman for reaching down to Rockford and pulling me up here for reasons that I sometimes find difficult to fathom. <laughs> and uh, within my division, so many excellent people, and many of them are here today, and I'm very grateful for your attendance. Thank you. Um, in particular, I'd like to mention Ann Sheehy, who is excellent herself and helps nurture and foster excellence all around her. Um, so once again, thank you very much. <laughs>